Hi, this is Julie with Julie's Odds and Ends. This is like cut number five retake. <laughs> Having a hard time doing videos today. Anyway, okay. This video is about how to package a shirt and a little bit of inventory control that I do. So anyway, um, I store all my shirts in these uh, Ziploc storage bags and I put them in banker box according to uh, size. Uh, I mean, and uh, and each sh shirt that um, I do, I have one of these little scratch pieces of paper, and I put the name of the shirt, the size of it. It's a short sleeve, long sleeve, the fabric content, and anything special like if it has pockets, side vents, and so forth. I put the measurements down. I put where I bought it at, how much I paid for it. I give it a little inventory number and I give it a date and so um, I do that and I store them in the Ziploc baggies. Um, when it sells, I pull it out of the Ziploc bag and I use these twist tie uh, bread bags and I get them at uh, Walmart and I think I spend less than four dollars on it and each bag has like a hundred of them. So I take the bag and um, put the shirt in the bag like so and then I fold the bag over push down to get the air out take a piece of tape and tape it that's it with that okay then I use these eBay uh, bags that I get for free uh, with my store subscription. I'm in mid-range store so I get $50 free shipping supplies from eBay every quarter. So I stick my shirt, stick it inside the bag like so and then you pull these little tabs off and just fold over and boom. And then let's we'll say this is my shipping label. I stick it on top I use a tape gun. No, I do not have a dynamo, and I don't see the point of me paying for those right now. I think they're kind of too expensive, at least the ones that I see. Anyway, I found this is good. I get the tape at Office Depot, and that works for me. And I tape the label on, and I send it off to give it to my mailman. My mailman, my mailbox is close to my door. And I hear my mail by, mailman and I hand him the stuff and he scans it right there and everything's wonderful. Um, <clears throat> there. And uh, so and that's all there is to that. It's real simple, real easy. Um, you know, um, when I sell plus size, uh, you know, or, no, I'm sorry. When I sell bigger items, I use priority mail and I use the padded flat rate priority mail envelopes. I like those better than the little cardboard ones because they're more flexible. I can get I can squeeze a whole heck of a lot into those than I can with the cardboard ones. Um, the, you know, I can do uh, at least a 5X pair of jeans in there, of women's in there. With the cardboard, you have to fight more, and I get paper cuts, and I don't like using those. Also, like when someone buys a few items, I'll use the party mail uh, boxes, and you can get all the party mail supplies free at, at the United States Postal website. Uh, U P. I can't even say the acronym for it right now. But anyway, uh, you can do, get it for free um, there and stuff. So anyway, um, you know, I sell probably about anywhere from 15 to 20 items a week. Um, I list about probably over 100 items or so a month. And so I have an inventory system, and uh, so I gotta be able to find my cl find the pieces. Um, and so, like I said, I use baker boxes, and I stack them up all in my into the extra room there. And I also store them in totes too. And um, but yeah, I go according to size. And so, like let's say a 4x top sold, I go in my 4x boxes and I dig for it. And uh, Depending on when I list it, I'll, I can usually gauge where it, which box it's in. All the older stuff starts sinking to the bottom, the newer stuff stays up on top. 
so I'm able to gauge by that where the item is at um, there and I just try to keep this stuff real simple I don't make it too complicated I tried co other ways and about just ready to lose my marbles on so this way seems to work pretty good for me and um, I also when you know when something sells I write on the back of this slip of paper um, I can't even remember if I already said this or not this is what happens when you get over 50 years old you you forget things uh, real quick so anyway um, I'll list um, the the size of the package how many ounces it's what it is because I do my shipping through pirate ship I don't do through eBay I don't buy my labels through there um, because I'm with managed payments and so I go to pirate pirate ship which is a little bit uh, that I can do all my shipping through there and it's linked to my credit card, which is linked to my little business account. So everything is good to go there. And I don't have to play with PayPal and, and bounce money around and all those other stuff. So anyway, I do it that way. So that's why I put down the measurements of the package and how much it weighs. And I put the date that it sells. I also um, put down uh, who the person is that's going, who it is that uh, purchased it and which state it's going to because I always I, I like to see what packages go where you know it's just a little game I play and um, so and then I put the amount it sold for how much I put down for shipping costs how much did the customer pay for shipping and I put my final value fees so when this sheet's filled up of the information I need I log it on into a, a into a composition book that you know and that way I can keep all my numbers straight and I know how much you know how much I sold for the week and, and stuff so that's for tax purposes and um, and I also have a spreadsheet that I use on Google and that's free um, and um, and, I, and I log all the stuff information there and when something sells I highlight it in green let me know it's sold and, and that works really good. Actually, that came in, um, helped me out uh, last night. I had a shirt that I had on Poshmark. No, not on Poshmark. I'm sorry, on Etsy. And I also cross-posted it on eBay. Well, it sold on eBay last December. And I forgot to take it off of Posh, off of Etsy. And so I was like going, where is the shirt? Where is the shirt? You know? And I finally looked, I looked on my Google inventory sheet there, and spreadsheet, and um, there I marked it in green, stating it sold on eBay. And I was like, ah. Oh. So I had to tell the customer I didn't have it in stock anymore, and I gave him a, a hefty discount off of something else in the store um, to, uh, you know, make up for, for the loss there and stuff and uh, hopefully that will make them happy or help them out I don't know you know um, so that's why I don't sell on Poshmark anymore on Macari because I forget to take things off of eBay or Etsy and next thing you know I sell it on there and I ain't got it so enough of that um, so making my life a little easier with that stuff um, there so that inventory control sheet came in handy because I was able to pop up the information real quick and uh, that's how I like you know that's that works out really good um, for that I have over 600 items in my store so sometimes you know you lose inventory and sometimes you don't remember what you did with it and so I need a backup to the backup to the backup there and I don't trust uh, I've been you know, working with computers over 20 plus years, and I know it's like to lose information, and so that's why I don't put all my information onto the computer. That's why I still do paper and pen, write it out, and just in case you know something gets deleted, I have a backup copy, and I learned that from uh, basically doing family tree research when I had pictures and uh, documents and scan records and stuff and losing it all you know because a computer crashed and stuff like that and uh, so I learned to have a backup to the backup and that includes for my business especially for this business here um, I am a um, 
part-time, you know, less to a part-time seller. I do not wish to be a full-time seller. You know, this uh, started out with selling just for uh, making money to buy gifts, you know, for Christmas. And it also, you know, and, and then moved on to uh, selling stuff to uh, pay for my hobbies. And so I've got a hobby that pays for my hobbies. Now I guess. I don't know. Anyway, this thing keeps growing and growing. And, and who knows where it'll end up. There. So today I have a lot. I have a bunch of pictures I gotta take today, and I've got this pile that I've gotta bring down. It's over hip high <laughs> stuff I gotta work on. I've got a bunch of Bibles that I gotta take pictures of and get listed up, as well as a bunch of cookbooks and tons of clothing and stuff. So anyway, I'm just gonna do one item day, one item at a time, and see where I end up at. So anywho. Happy uh, eBaying, and uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.